This is Steve. And this is Sean. Welcome to Acromedia's High Five. So, Steve, what are we going to talk about? Well, last time we talked about catalogs within Drupal Commerce. Today we're going to be talking specifically about products in Commerce 2.x in Drupal 8. Got it? Yes. Okay, good. You didn't get it the first time, so I'm going to make sure it sinks in this time. All right, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about what are products within a website or an e-commerce website specifically um, and how it differs from Commerce 1.x to 2.x and kind of what's going on in that whole world. So, as you know, a product is a product. I feel like everyone should understand that. But Sean, maybe you elaborate a little <laughs> bit about... Even a product about... isn't as uh, simple as it seems. Well, what do you mean? Um, so uh, a product is kind of uh, two things. There is an individual SKU that makes up a product. Um, and then there is a product that you would think of when you purchase something. Um, so I'll give an example. So if you go um, and you want to buy a shirt, um, whatever the logo is, that's the shirt, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the product. But that is actually made up of a whole bunch of smaller products because um, every size of that shirt is an individual product because you have to know how many right. mediums do I have? How many larges do I have? Maybe mm -hmm. I sell them for different prices. Um, if you have different colors of them, maybe that's a different version of the same product. So oftentimes one product um, is actually a collection of a whole bunch of products. But when your customers are viewing it, um, they think of the collection as a single product. Mm -hmm. But when you're managing it um, in inventory, in processing orders and stuff like that, you need that individual specific project because you need to ship them out a medium blue t-shirt, you know, not just a t-shirt, right? Um, so it's these two things. So a product is actually mm -hmm. a combination of products and products variations which go together to make what a customer would determine as a product. Which is kind of a nice segue because you're talking about variations and kind of an extension attributes. Can you mm -hmm. explain a little bit about how that works in Commerce 2? Yeah, so uh, you have, like I said, attributes that are used to make up these different products. So you say, okay, I'm going to have color. So each different color is going to be a different variation. And then if I have size too, each different size is a different variation, but each different size and color combination is a different variation. So when you build attributes, you're sort of building products by doing that. And then you sort of need to fill in the spots where you have products. This might not be... Um, like a completely full grid because you might not have you know every color in every size with every variation mm -hmm. so you can have these different um, options to say you know these are the parameters that I use to basically build uh, a product into a specific product variation um, you can also have attributes that are um, not like that they're just a customization to a product like if I want to have it you know inscribed I want the t-shirt to have my name on the back mm -hmm. right that isn't an attribute that I pick so much because it doesn't change the product stock I, I don't they don't have a whole bunch of you know McCabe's in the back probably right they're yeah. just gonna print that so that's an option that gets applied to a product as well so uh, variations have a, uh, a number of attributes and, and options that make them up so mm -hmm. a product seems simple and isn't really and how many variations can Drupal Commerce handle? Uh, an infinite amount, basically. <laughs> um, there's no limit for products, variations, um, attributes, anything like that. Um, at a certain point, it can become somewhat unwieldy to manage just mm -hmm. because it can be difficult um, for the user to keep track of what, or the admin to keep track of what's going on. Um, but there's no hard limit um, from a technological standpoint. Um, you may need to increase uh, hardware mm -hmm. um, or something like that. but. Uh, you know, you just have to scale up. There's there's no sort of fixed limit of, oh, it's only 100, oh, it's only 1,000, something like that or whatever. And I'm assuming you can sell digital products, physical products. That doesn't necessarily mean anything in Drupal Commerce. No, I mean, that's a thing you can toggle. I mean, you can set up product types in mm -hmm. Commerce. Um, that's uh, purely for uh, managing them within Commerce. So if you want to say, you know, hey, I have you know, products that are digital, I have products that are, you know, physical, I have products that, um, you know, are more of a subscription or something mm -hmm. like that. And so you want to handle them quite differently. Like maybe I can buy a year long membership to your site, or I can also buy merchandise from your site. Those are pretty different products. Um, so it can be easy to set up different product types for those, which let them be quite different. Yeah. Um, Cause you don't need, you know, sizes and, and weights and, and values and stuff for a thing that is a digital good and stuff. So. And I know that to a certain extent, products are similar from Commerce 1 to 2, being that there's you know, products, there's variations, there's attributes. What is kind of the, the main difference? Um, it's all just more built into Commerce, um, how it's set up. There's, there are some architectural differences from how it sort of uh, is built underneath. That's not going to affect the, the normal user too much. Um, but the big thing is 
Um, in Commerce One, they just had the variations, and then you kind of built your own product by just making a node or something in Drupal, which was actually very confusing to a lot of people um, because it, it wasn't clear how to build that. Mm -hmm. um, but now you set up a product, you add variations to it, it's all much more structured in Commerce too. So you still get all the flexibility you had, but it leads you down the path. You need to do a lot better. Got it. So why don't you hit us with the too long, didn't read? Um, products uh, in Commerce 2, um, they're not vastly different. They're just a sort of iterative improvement on the products in Commerce 1. Um, so they're better, but they're not amazing, you know, complete redo. Yep. Well, if you're a fan of Drupal Commerce or you want to know more about Drupal Commerce, want to know more about how we're talking about Drupal Commerce, subscribe, comment below. If you have any questions, ask your question below. Sean will reach out and he'll answer your question. I won't talk to you personally. Probably one of my people will talk to you, but, it, right. you know, it, it, it'll feel like it's me. Yeah. Um, they'll also, use your avatar. Yeah. Okay. They'll, they'll use my Twitter to respond to you. It won't be me, of okay. course. But um, uh, you can also follow us on Facebook. You can read our blog at acromedia.com. And you can follow me on Twitter, where someone will answer your questions.